My name is Sabrina, and I am not brave. Many years after they had taken my husband away, tortured and persecuted for his faith, they came for me. Women prisoners tended to be treated more harshly at the hands of the guards. Mockery, abuse and rape. We were forced to dig a pointless canal day after day. One of the joys of the guards was to push us into the canal and then fish us out and laugh and laugh at our wet, shivering bodies before them. Oh, I have seen it. I have seen the very depths of humanity. The very extremities of sin and injustice. But I have seen a God who has never forsaken me. For oh, many times, the gods, they would say, you are forsaken. But not by him. It was a crime to help a member of a family of a Christian prisoner. A neighbor who helped our son, Mihai, was beaten so badly that she would be disabled for the rest of her days. Our dear son, Mihai, you can only imagine what this did for his faith. In his eyes, Christianity had robbed him of a father and now a mother too. He was very angry. But one day, he was allowed to come to see me, his mother, through the bars, just for 20 minutes. Oh, my heart. My heart, as I saw him across that yard. He hardly recognized his mother. He was so angry and the guard so cruel. He turned away, and as he turned, I shouted at him, Mihai, believe in Jesus. With all your heart, believe in him. And that was the moment. Right there, on that grey yard, that Mihai will testify, he knew the reality of the Saviour. Many years later, interviewed in America, he told that story, saying that if I could believe at a time like that, surrounded by such evil, then surely God was the Savior. Surely he was the courage within me. Surely he was the one that never forsaken me. You know, they told me that my husband was dead. But I knew that was not true. And do you know how I knew that? Because they told me that as he died, Richard denied Christ. And so you see, I knew they lied. Richard would never deny his Christ. They tried to persuade me, you move on. After my release, build a new life. Stop waiting for a husband who will never come back. You are a widow, you are forsaken. But no, the Lord said, trust in my promise that I will never leave you nor forsake you. And do you know the Lord told me to wait? Many years I waited. And after 14 years of prison, of solitary confinement for Richard, I open my window. I see a tiny figure growing ever closer. I throw open the windows and I shout, Richard, Richard, can that be you? 
it was my husband. He was coming back to me. And do you know, later that day, I stood encircled in the love of my family, Mihai and Richard, and we praised God. We praised him that he was the one that gave us strength, that gave us courage when all else was wasting away, that he gave us everything that we needed to stay strong. So you see, I am not brave. Many times in my cell, I would scream out to God. I would ask why over and over, but yet there was the miracle that he was with me in that place, that somehow I knew it was his promises that I would trust. Not the word of a God, not the word of an imposter, but the rich and true words of Jesus Christ. So my prayer for you in, in your trial, in your prison, whatever that may be, is that when all seems lost and when you feel forsaken, remember in Christ, you are never forsaken.